Yeah, that judgment shit is crazy, bro. I fuck with that shit. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's one of my favorite <laughs> records from me recently too. Word, yeah, because like honestly, like you know, like I'm from Jersey, you know what I'm saying? So we're not really as captured with the entire Chicago scene. You know, usually it's the typical guys out there, you know. So when yeah, they yeah, came, I was yeah. really diving into it, I'm like, oh shit, okay, and that judge me shit. I'm like, oh, shit. dang my like, oh shit, clean, like the video and everything. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah, I rock with Jersey. I got a lot of people out of Jersey. Oh, for us? Yeah, yeah. Got a few people out there. I was yeah, just I recently out there with Sirius. I was out there with Sirius. I was out there with Sirius Jones, really. Oh, word. No, oh, I heard that yeah. name in forever. Yeah. Sirius He's Jones. a battle rap guy. I know. I know exactly who he is. That's what yeah. I'm saying. I haven't heard his name in forever, yeah. but when he was battle rapping, yeah, I fucked with him heavy. Yeah, yeah that shit was crazy. Yeah. Sirius Jones. Wow. That, like, yo, you dropping that name is crazy. I haven't heard that name. And I live in Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you you was ever you, you ever tapped into like battle rapping or not? Oh uh, no nah, no nah, no nah, not really. Nah, ain't something I really no nah, ain't something I really. Word. I just like I just like making the hits, man. That's it. Word. I feel that though. Fuck it, <laughs> um. Uh, we're in a garden state hip hop hour, which y'all got was a little conversation beforehand. Sirius Jones, like, yo, my man really brought me back with that one. <laughs> Lil Chris, Big Chris, Dr. C. All that. You hear me? All that. Which, which one do you prefer, though? I know you got Dr. C on All the team, so is that your favorite? All of them. Dr. Big Chris, yeah. That's one my friend, uh, FBG Duck, gave me that name. Yeah. Only FBG Duck. Nah, I definitely do know Duck. I know I was saying to you, I wasn't really familiar with yeah. all the artists, but of course we know Duck, you know, saying Duck out loud. Yeah. I was, you know, tapped in. It's unfortunate because I really started to really tap in with him, you know, a few months before everything really happened, you know what I'm saying? So I, maybe I caught the wave yeah. a little bit late, but when I was listening yeah. to him and hearing him, yeah, that shit, you know saying? Yeah, yeah, it gave me that name. Like, you are know saying, like, even just being from Jersey and you're from Chicago, how do you feel, like, do you feel like it's starting to change where, like, you know, like, more people outside of Chicago are really starting to reach out and, like, you know, because when you come to places and certain things are made a joke that really aren't necessarily a joke where you're from, you feel like that trend is starting to change a little bit Definitely. with parts like yourself and Ruga. Definitely. I'm all the way in Cali now, and I was just out eating at uh, Denny's, and, you know, the worker, he's staring at me. I'm wondering, like, why the fuck he's staring at me? The chains, like, my he... boy. Look how you pulled up. What else is he going to yeah. do? Yeah, but, as uh, you know, I thought he was like mugging me and finna do something to my food. So as I'm leaving, he uh he tell me, man, ain't you little Chris? I'm like, yeah, that's me. And man, I'm a big fan. And we all the way out in Cali. So I know it's spread, you know. Yeah. And that was Is crazy. This your first so. time in uh, LA? No, nah, I basically live out here. Oh, word. Okay. So how was that transition? Yeah. I know even like when I've been to LA or people from like the East Coast go to LA, like it kind yeah. of blows their mind how slow paced it is, like how like more relaxed it is. Yeah, I love L.A. because I'm a boring, fun guy. You know, I just really like doing music, chilling with a female and smoking and, you know, typical mm. stuff like that. Not even really so much smoking. I don't even smoke like that. <laughs> you know, doing music and chilling, you know, just like the vibe. You know? It's Word. good to get out of Chicago because I ain't got to watch my back all day. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's getting like, yeah. It's unfortunate, like you're saying, again, not for me to that You see those headlines all the time. And I noticed that when... um. Yeah. You were giving some quotes about the song you did with Ruga. And even though Ketchup Body yeah. is kind of like an obvious phrase to what it will represent, like you kind of went a little deeper. Yeah. Like, you know, you kind of want to use it to show what's going on out there and to try to help yeah. yes. next someone from going down that path. Yes, yes, yes. You know, that's what it is, man. Because at the end of the day, you know, you say, y'all talk about the killing. You know, it's just like, um, what's his name? Uh, Ice Cube said back in the days, man. We ain't glorifying it, man. We just like the hood news, you know? Mm-hmm. Just letting y'all know what's going on here, you know. We don't want to, we don't want it to happen, shit, because it's our family members and brothers and yeah. sisters and dying and us getting targeted, and us getting targeted. But at the end of the day, we can't prevent it now. You know, it's gonna take a little bit more than us. You know? mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, and, and like you said, like, and there's such like a strong music scene there too as well. Like sometimes that needs that. Hopefully, God willing, one day, like you said, that's gonna be what outshines everything else. That when you see the headlines. It's yeah. the artists that are making noise, the artists with the head. And, and, that's, and that's what I'm working on, because I'm I'm that type of artist, you know, like, FBG Ducks a close friend, man, but I don't involve, I'm, they from the south side, him and Lil Durk, them, and Chief Keeping them, they from the south side, I'm from the west side of Chicago. See, I don't involve my 
stuff and none of their beefs. I don't diss nobody, never made no diss songs. I just make all hits and I got known from that. No controversies, doing no silly stuff. I just got a buzz from me making good records. And I and the whole city rock with me. Mm-hmm. You know, some people, you know, some people, the fans make it like, oh, yeah, Lil Chris, he rock with FBG Duck. So he's on their side against Chief Keef and Lil Dirk. Now, when that's not that, I know people in Dirk and them camp too that I'm cool with. You know, even though some people be like, man, if you hang with him, you in, but it ain't how it is. I'm not in AB. You a coward if you think that way. Like, you know, if Drake do a song with, um, let's say, you know, somebody who went to it with Dirk. Okay, so now Drake against Lil Dirk? No. Well, yeah, yeah. That's, make it yeah, like that's, that. that. Yeah, that's you a know? great analogy. Just, it's just they keep giving you that label because obviously you're from the same city. Yeah, yeah, but nah, it ain't like, you know, like, it's like if Fat Joe, when he did a, if he do a song with Ja Rule here in 2 with 50 Cent, no. Nah. It don't go like that. They well, 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 50 so did take it that way back in the day, though. He did. He did. <laughs> but he came to us. He came to his senses, though. He, now he back cool with it. You know, he took it that way. 50 was going against everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like the whole Jada, like the whole welcome to New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. He ain't like that. He ain't like that. <laughs> it's like that in the moment versus the bigger picture type thing. But, but I'm going to talk about the big now. Jay-Z don't get mad at someone who does a song with Knox. Nah, you see what I'm saying? At the time. You know, he, he ain't get mad at if another New York artist did a song with Nas. Word. At the time, they was at the time they was beef. Facts. Like, so, how, how how were you able to draw that line though, and like walk it to let her like keep everyone that is in there, not outside. Like, okay, now nah, Chris is just here for the music. Yeah, because a lot of people, the city know me. I put in a lot of work through the city. Like, I'm a, I'm not just a music artist. I'm like, uh, I do the audio engineering. I produce oh, okay. everything. And I and I did that for half the city, like all the big names, Dreezy, Tinks, Herbs, um, mm-hmm. Lil Foles, Duck, Ruga, I do it all their music, like and more names, you know. But, and everybody look at me in the city and they know they see how I carry myself, you know, I take care of my family. You know, I get my money, I stay out of everybody's way. And the real people in the city, they know that and they respect me because they know me. But you know, you probably gotta feel a little. Goofy, who probably go, oh, he's with that side. No, but the real people know. You know, they respect me and they, and they understand that. But I still, you still be alert anyway you go, because there's still yeah. some young goofy, young goofies out there who, yeah, just, just what they is. Working with all those different artists from the engineer side and, and that side, did you take a little bit from each one to kind of formulate your sound or did you just like form your own sound? No, uh, they hit me to formulate my sound because they, mm-hmm. You know what's hearing me buzzing through the street. So they're like, man, we want that sound. You know, you know I come with my own sound. You know, my melodic rapper. You know, I can yeah, get on yeah. that and rap. Oh, I can yeah. get on there and spit that Kanye J. Cole. I can rap, rap without auto tone. <laughs> but I prefer auto tone because that's a sound I love. I love myself. You know, so I make the music that I love myself. Well, yeah, back to run, to run back that analogy you said real quick. When, when Kanye did the song with the Chief Keef, like when Chief Keef was coming yeah. up, they weren't like, oh, yeah. he's against everybody else yeah. now. Or to my yeah. knowledge, you know? No, yeah, no, they, they ain't put him with Chief Keef. They ain't do that. Yeah, yeah, that just reminded yeah. me when you said that, the, the Kanye mm-hmm. part. Yeah. Yeah, I'm watching interview where I go. <laughs> yo, Kanye, I fuck yo. Yeah. You can't call a billionaire crazy. Whatever he's doing is working, and we're not billionaires, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love Yeezy. But he, uh, yeah, he's just too smart for he's just too smart for himself in the world. That's all. Or maybe we're all just not smart enough to understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. always about perspective, That's man. Right. Was was yeah. Yeezy like one of the people like you came up like listening to like? Yeah, yeah, certainly, yeah, yeah. Kanye, you know, uh, Chicago. We got Twister. Yeah, we got guys called Do Twist It Die. Album, right. Yeah, twist on my album. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's close. To it. Yeah, do it die. Lupe Fiasco is a close friend of mine. You now I got a record. Gonna be coming with him soon. That's hard. Um, I like Future, Lil Wayne, and Tupac. I'm like my favorite is artist. Period. No Future, Lil Wayne, and Tupac. You know? yeah. you can't go wrong with those three. Them the them the three artists and one that I mix myself with. Wow, well, which of the cars was your favorite? Who was the what? Which of the Carter album series was your favorite? Uh, whichever one was, I came back around. That one. Like, like so I thought was number uh, two, like Carter two, like to me was That's like, what that was, that, that's oh, yeah. what that was. That's what that was, yep. Yeah, yep. Carter two, that was the one, but 
Yeah, man. So like now, like you said, like you're formulating your own path and your own legend in Chicago. So to be working with these people, like even on this next level, like to have the loop page, you know what I'm saying? And to yeah. be side by side with a twister where yeah. it's like, you may have the stature, but because rap is really original, it takes time to get out. Like for us yeah. on the outside, it's like, oh shit, he's working with Twister now, he's working with Lupe. Yeah. Like, how does that feel for you when the world's seeing you like next to these names now and starting to like- It feel, it feel great because, you know, it's, it's see that my work getting recognized, even though I didn't I didn't do the music for the fame or the money, I did, I do the music because I love it. And mm -hmm. so having to be God, God that blessing me with the extra things, the fame and the money. I just do it because I love it. I don't care if I was seven years old. If I can still talk and rap, I'm gonna be rapping. If this is what I love to do, and I love to hit myself. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it's hard, man. And, and like we were talking before, that the whole thing really started was like the the Judge Me track, yo. That shit, yeah. was, uh, that shit's fire. You said you happen to say that was like one of your favorites, right? Yeah, that's my favorites right now. We finna, I got my guy Boog, my guy from Cleveland. You know, my label boss of boss. We finna put a book, big push behind it, Judge Me, right? Mm. It's gonna be all all over MTV, everywhere. Like, what, what what makes like as an artist, what makes you like you know what I'm saying? Is it like the people like from the outside, like where I was like, yo, this is like a fucking fire song? Is that what gives you the confidence yeah. to really give that song the push versus another song, or how do you guys uh, sound like this is the one? Both myself mm. and the reactions to it. Like, I got I got a damn um, runner the runner up for mayor in our city. He called me on that record. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing. He's playing it in his story. I got a motherfucker. A uh, lawyer hit me. Said, "Man, this record is fire, man. Like, where did you shoot this music video? This record is fire." I got all type of people hitting me about that record. Man, the streets love it. Kids, you know, females. That's when I'm like, okay. Everybody talking about this record. This is it? And it's one of my personal favorites. I feel it in my soul when I made it and when I listened to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the video that you're in the courthouse. I thought the video was fire. Um, yeah, because everybody everybody gets judged. You know, nobody's part of you. You're facts. too skinny, you're too tall, you're too fat, you're too short, you're too this or that, you're that, you know, too black, you're too white, you're too this. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets judged, so everybody can relate to it. You know? Who are you to judge me? I know I ain't perfect, but someone loves me. My mama loves me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, that's why, like, it's a song that's relatable. And like you said, you got political candidates <laughs> telling you they love it. Like, imagine you pulled up to one of his days, yeah, like, you're yeah. bumping at a political campaign, like, judge me. Like, I think it's hard that yeah. you're able to have that impact with a song. And that's what's so beautiful about the art is that when other people could take it and run with it, that you never met, may not ever hold you, like met you before or heard of you, but like you're providing yeah. them that relatability and that like, yo, you're not alone. We all get judged. Facts, facts. Or, and, and um, what, like two weeks, well, a week ago or two weeks ago, you dropped every day, the 28th of May. So that was yeah. Yeah. like a week. So yeah. this all yeah. lead up to like a new project? Uh, actually, you know, it's just feeding the people right now. Mm -hmm. But Judge Me is a record that I'm going to give a nice push to. Mm -hmm. And uh, the video, that it set it off. You know, I played, like, all the characters, you know. Yep. My, guy told, my guy told me to do that. Like, man, and I was telling my homies, y'all come act for me. <laughs> my partner, uh, y'all come act for me. Mm -hmm. you know, my partner was like, you know what? You play all of them, you know. I'm like, you know what? That sounds like Tyler Perry, <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, saying. Like he's getting, he's preparing you for the day when we start seeing yeah. you in the movies and the TV shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as far as the project coming, I got a, I got I got some dope records. Like it's just building up, like production. Hit maker gonna have London on the track. Oh, Weezy, wait, did you say Weezy hit maker? Out of here. Yeah, I I done made like four or five records with him. It's, oh shit! Got a record with a record with Jeremiah. Like that, yeah. Hit maker. We was locked in the studio. And, uh, my, I know that's gonna be fire. Yes, fire track is ready to, you know, drop. So we just build. We're gonna build up some singles first before we drop a project. Cause I want to get a single going first, so I can give them how I'm anticipating the project, ready for it more, Word. build the buzz up more. Cause I'm, 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 I got a foot in the door. I'm almost there, but yeah. I still gotta give them that. I still gotta give them that explosive song mm -hmm. that the world, that the world know now, you know. Word. So anybody who's watching this, go stream Judge Me right now. Well, not right now, after this. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but what's dope is like, since you do come from that background, like of being the engineer and stuff like that, um, how does yeah. it, are you still in full control of it when it comes to your music? Or did you kind of have to wean off and like trust other people with it now? Kind of both. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a full control, but I still got, 
you know, my label. It's up to what they want to put the budgets behind. Mm-hmm. But luckily, I got another partner come in, you know, like to make push them more. Like if y'all don't do it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's been like kind of both. Well, right. did it take you time to trust the other people? Yeah. Like, are we still over their shoulder? Like, uh, my label, they kind of like they 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 like when I make um, uh, <laughs> let's say the uh more conscious, more elevated music, the mm-hmm. more like you know the, the the more pop records, you know. Yeah. But I'm from I got that one. They see they from Cali, California. And they from like Bakersfield, but I'm from Chicago. So and I'm from the hood, you know. So I like my street music. I understand what they saying, but I gotta win the streets and I gotta get through the door all the way first before yeah. I can hit a pop record. Because I wanna go pop. Yo, you gotta you know, get one of those Justin Bieber features track. Yeah. Am I weird in California? You hear me? <laughs> yeah, you hear me? But I gotta get through the door first. Mm-hmm. I just can't come in and pop. I gotta get through the door <laughs> street first. Then your people are really gonna be like, wait. What? Yeah. Like, like Chicago and like you switched up. Even, even even Drake ain't come in pop. You know he came in with Lil Wayne hip hop rap. You know, he turned mm-hmm. to make be make all type of hits. That the first Drake track I heard was that that ransom song with with uh, Lil Wayne. Yep. Yep. Uh, Lil Moon, yep. Red Moon, Sue. Yep. Yeah, like I know exactly which record you think. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, like he came in like that. But do you have those pop tracks in the tuck ready to go yet? A, a, a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you gotta hit the them. button. <laughs> Yeah, and they be ready to push them first. Mm. So you can't even tell them about like, no, it. So I'm not to cut this out. The label don't be like, wait. So you had those the whole time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they they know they know about it. They be ready to push them first. Mm. But I be ready to go a different route. They know about it. Word. And so so like so where so have you guys met in the middle? Or are they gonna let you more run like how you want to run right now? Which Sometimes I I let them I let them do their thing first to see. Okay. You know the numbers be all right. But when I do my thing, the numbers be through the roof. Mm. When I pick the record, the numbers through the roof. When they pick it, the record, right? when I pick it, a million plus. When they pick it, 100,000, 200,000. Know? That's what you was giving that I told you so phase. You don't say nothing. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. That's hard. So, like, so is there like an, a date or like a like a time frame of like the project, like fall, winter, summer? Uh, Yeah, around August, September, because I'm thinking okay. out. A few singles for this summer that you know we set the clubs on fire and build up to the album. You know? Yeah, that's hard. That's definitely hard. And like I said, you got to judge me. You just dropped. So the track you do with Ruga, uh, is this the first time you got catch a body? Is this the first time you guys work together? Nah, you know, Ruga, nah. uh no, nah, nah, man, Ruga, we've been locked in because that's my guy, uh FBG Duck Cub and FBG yep. Duck, that's like my brother. You know, I've been since since Slide, you know, I took him like with me in the studio, like locked up in the studio every day. Like he and that's like been like my brother, you know. And I've been recording, engineering all his music and guiding him. And we made full project whole albums together. And you and Ruger? No, nah, me and Duck. That's all I was asking. Like, I say, is Ruger. this the first time you and Ruger yeah. got, got on a track together? That's the first set of track we released. We've been oh, in okay. track before that. I was gonna say I couldn't yeah. find one, but maybe my searching wasn't. That's the first one we re- re- released together. <laughs> yeah, well, now nah, me and Ruga, we got plenty more coming. Me, Ruga, and uh, Love Mo. Yeah, know, he, he, just had, he just had a video drop today with Mo Six Blocker and um. Uh, yeah, Blue yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Love Mo just signed with Capital X. Yeah, yeah, because they're okay. Capital is the one that sent me the press release for it. So that's how I actually knew about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, they sent you the press release for uh, Love Mo. Yeah, yeah, the little mode, the yeah, blue blood. Yeah, yeah, that's my that's that's my shred. That's my boy right there. And we got some records coming too. Me, him, and Ruger, we actually got to track it all three of us on that. We going back and forth so cold. Yeah, that's hard, man. But uh, I'm not gonna keep you too long because I see you're saying you got you're saying you're moving around right now. So like you're saying you. I'm all good, right man. I'm all good. You know, I can do what I do. <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I just thought like you're moving around. I didn't want to like you know if you're on the go. Yeah. So then, so the, those are tracks that you said you have a Ruger. Then are you planning to release more hey, of them? Hey, open, bro. Huh? You say what? You uh, so is there, yeah, is there planning to be more? Yeah, actually, be him a little more. We're gonna release our track next. That's the one we're gonna do. Next. That's hard. Ruger, Ruger, Ruger on fire right now. You know, like that's the coldest person in the city to me right now. Like, you know, 
and uh, he he fin he definitely finna get his bill next. And mm -hmm. so, so whatever label I'm telling him now, he better hurry up and get him. That boy talented. That boy do it all. Where and the video is really fucking dope. Like, but you guys jumped through a portal at the beginning. I was trying to understand, like, <laughs> like I was I watched a few minutes. I was like, what's the analogy or metaphor for the portal in the beginning? And you guys hop out the end. You know, my guy Henry Lipitor, he shoots for uh Chris Brown, Wiz Khalifa, all them guys. He came up with the concept. I guess he was, I guess he was catching the body, you know, the portal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. liked it because it was different outside of you know. The normal hood video standing right there bouncing with the gang members. Yeah, stepping out the box, stepping out the box with the video. Baby. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I just thought the video, I thought the song was really dope. I thought the video was really fun. Like it was cool. Like I just thought it was interesting. Like I said, it had me watching, trying to figure out certain scenes. Uh, you say so. It really came well together. So it seems like you're just ready to really go on a run and really let the world know who you are this year. Like outside, yeah, even more so, you know what I'm saying? Not to take away from anything. Yeah. No, no, he's not taking away. You're exactly right. You know, because there's a lot of more people eyes to wake up, millions of more. And that's what we're doing. Is there going to be tours yeah. and shows now that things are opening back up? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I'm doing a few shows already. You know, a lot of people been hitting me for features, trying to pay me for features. Like, but I'm at the point where I'm going to charge it. Like, a 5K. Mm. I don't know. Features till I'm able to charge around 10. You know, so I'll be telling them, like, I'm good right now. Right, you, better, you better add another chain. Yeah, so I'm going to just <laughs> get that high record. Then I can 10 k you tour All right. And judge, judge, me, judge Me definitely has potential, to, like you said, like, yes. with a push behind yeah. it like that. Yeah. Yeah. With the help of the guys, get it out there. You know? Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Fuck it up. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna start wrapping it up. Um, is there any message you have for the people? Like anything you want them to know? Uh, you know, just just tune in with me, man. Doctor Big Chris, man, on Instagram. Yeah, just tune in and just respect great music from me, man. Great hits, man. I'm good. Just listen to the great music, man. That's how. I'm gonna, you know. And much love to you. I appreciate you for having me. Yeah. Just give me one second, real quick. I just need to double check something before I say it. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Okay, all right. For for some reason, I was just mixing up your last name with someone else's. I was like, wait, but Biggie's Christopher Wallace. <laughs> like it slipped my mind because I saw yeah, Chris and Wallace. a W. I was like, wait, you had the same name. I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> so it caught me for a second. <laughs> I saw Chris and the W, but it's yeah. Warren, not Wallace. I was like, wait, <laughs> that would have been crazy. Like that. Yeah, like... <laughs> but yeah, yo, yeah. definitely, yo, I really do I... appreciate your time. You know, little Chris, Doctor C, Big Chris, run it up. Keep yeah. it cool with this man, you know what I'm saying? He be out, coming out to Jersey. So if you do a show out here, you got to let us know so we can be, you know, again. Uh, I need everybody right now, go stream, catch a body, go stream Judge Me, go check out his new song everywhere. Yeah. Man, that rise. This is the Garden State yes, Hip Hop sir. Hour, Chris. I appreciate you, my boy. Yes, I appreciate you for having me, bro. Much love to you. Peace. Peace.